Hello everyone, welcome to Start Tech. So in today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about Spark architecture and how it works. Okay. So let us begin with today's video. Spark architecture typically looks like like this. It has Spark application, Spark driver, Spark session, cluster manager and Spark executor. So we'll discuss in detail like what are all the responsibility of each of them so let us discuss first about spark driver so spark driver would be come into picture when we do a spark submit this will get first instantiated when we do a spark submit so what are the responsibilities of this so first of all uh, responsibility of spark driver is to uh, get the requested resources for running the particular task so for running a particular spark job so a spark job typically has a tag tag is further divided into stages stages are further divided into tasks so that responsibility is completed by a driver by the driver so it will transform all the spark application into tag then distribute them across to executor and once uh, the resources are allocated and the executor will communicate to the driver that these are all the tasks which are completed which are assigned to the particular executors okay so that is the driver's responsibility in a gist if you uh, if somebody asks what is a driver's responsibility it may be in a inter it may be an interview question like what is a driver's responsibility so typically a driver's responsibility is requesting for resources transforming spark operation into dax then scheduling task which uh, which are into stages like uh, consider that you are reading a file so reading uh, in your spark application you are reading a file and saving a file consider this as a scenario then in that case reading a file is one stage and writing a file would be in second stage and for all these two stages there would be some task and uh, task in this case would be reading a file so reading a file it would read from a sdfs location so consider that uh, reading a file from a sdfs location it is uh, not a small file it is a big 10 gb of file so this 10 gb if you consider so it would be divided into uh, chunks of data in sdfs while storing so these all chunks of data it will become a task in spark case so those all tasks will be will be completed in one stage that is read stage so that will be allocated to a uh, that will be allocated to executor okay i hope you understand what are the driver's responsibility in uh, by 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 this example okay so let us move forward so a spark session so typically spark session is introduced in uh, uh, spark 2.x version from spark 2.x in previous version of spark we did not have a spark session we had a spark context object so if you want to do uh, some hive operations uh, or storing the hive operation you needed to use a spark context uh, object for this purpose but uh, but doing this uh, would be uh, a repetitive some line of codes you need to uh, write for creating spark context then creating then other object for creating a hive context likewise so these uh, all uh, depend these all writing multiple lines of codes for all this for communicating with these uh, all the other objects is t was tedious so this spark session was introduced in 2.x version of spark so this uh, made it much easier so when you download a spark version uh, when you download a spark and if you uh, run it then by default you will get spark session as a spark so uh, when you go into a command prompt 
or check for, if you check for spark that would be your spark session by default but when you write a code uh, and you need to submit it so this is the way in which you need to uh, write it okay so what is the task of the spark executor so in the previous diagram in the previous uh, i have mentioned like uh, spark job is divided into tags tags are further divided into stages and stages are further divided into task so this task would be executed by the executor and once the job of the executor is completed it is the spark executor responsibility to uh, communicate back to the driver program so this is the responsibility of a spark executor okay so this this is the spark executors responsibility i hope all the three of these uh, are uh, you understood it properly so in the upcoming videos we'll discuss uh, in more details uh, about how to write a code how to write a data frame okay i hope this video was really helpful to you if it was helpful please give it a like and do subscribe to startic thank you bye bye